highlighted foreign manufacturing concerns to the state, as well as encourage indigenous entrepreneurs. For one of the biggest foreign investments in this country, in first quarter of this year, Kenya, and all that are coming. And you can go to the harbor industry and see yourself. And then you can see within this government the first truly car manufacturing facility in Nigeria came into being. The innocent motherfucker and other things. So it's a critical thing. Trying to do quite a lot. And we show people by the time you come back, we're going to flag off other massive projects which no time will be completed. Starting with local manufacturers for whom access to funding is a major challenge, the OB administration teamed up with the Bank of Industry to raise counterpart funding at very low interest rates to get manufacturers functioning at optimal capacity within the state. Taking it a step further, the state economic policy has eliminated multiple and double taxations, allowing businesses to expand, create more jobs, and record higher profits. The one that is very prominent in this government is establishment of APLOC, where if you make your payment to APLOC, it's once and for all. While before now, anybody whose uh, business goes down will go to a government house, collect one paper, and come to you and say, I have been authorized to collect uh, going and coming levy. That if you go out of your house in the morning, you pay levy, coming back, you pay levy. And you don't question them. But now, today, you, with your app lock, you, you, nobody harasses you anymore. It's part of what I call industrial friendliness, which this government has introduced. If the infrastructures are not there, if you're setting up an industry, you cannot perform. The same way, even towards the northern part of the state, where they know that agriculture